Fuzzy. This morning we are talking at and dental care. We is bringing with her some special guests. Good morning, Kavita. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> so apparently we're getting some trouble with my audio. Okay. <laughs> so Kavita, tell me who we have here. Oh, well, they actually don't have any names as yet. <laughs> you get they to name them and they, go. Yeah, you get to name them. Name them and go. <laughs> mine and mine. <laughs> I don't think your dogs will be too happy about that. But. I mean, look at these tails. They're <laughs> excited. <laughs> oh, oh. Okay. But we have puppies on set because today we're talking about dental care for dogs. Yes? yes. Correct. Which is interesting because we don't think about that very much in Trinidad. No, we don't. I personally use just the dental sticks and I hope that's enough. What do we need to do? Well, it depends for each dog. It varies. But first, I just want to touch on the fact that a lot of people get puppies and they don't, you know, they're, they're like, why is my puppy biting me so much? Oh, you know? yeah, that's yeah. a valid question. <laughs> and they just feel all these needles on them and people are just not aware that puppies do teeth just like children, ah, so that that's they drop happening. teeth. Yes. Gums itching, as we say, and all of that good yeah. stuff. Oh, sure. So they normally <laughs> start to get their teeth by three weeks, mm -hmm. and then by six weeks, they have a, their full mouth of like baby teeth, Okay. we should say. Right? Mm -hmm. So it's a little bit annoying, because they want to bite and nip at everything oh, and everybody do. and anything they could get their mouths on. But we have to remember that it's normal puppy behavior, and that's how they basically get a feel of their environment by their mouth. Right. So would it be the same as we do with human children or we give them teething rings or toys that Correct. are chewable? Yeah. Right. So um, some things that you can do during this process is to give them safe toys <laughs> and monitor them during that. So like teething rings, like you correctly said, um, you know, and most of the times you don't even see the teeth. Like I was about to ask. So yeah, like a lot of people wouldn't even notice that they're puppies are losing teeth unless they happen to see like you know a space. which is good because I feel like it'll be expensive for the puppy tooth fairy <laughs> if it's a lot more than us. Yeah, that is true. Yeah. <laughs> so then we're looking at literally just seeing or well, not seeing any little random to teeth yes. all over the place. Yeah so and once mm. in a while you may see it on the floor or they may swallow it you know when they're <laughs> eating and stuff or you may see blood on a chew toy but serious yeah and people get a little bit alarmed but you have to just let them know that it's normal Right, okay. and by six months is the time when they get their adult teeth, their oh. full set of adult teeth. So my grown dogs over here have their adult teeth. Correct. Oh. Right, and that is when you have to start looking at dental care, which, as you said, we overlook. Right. And it is really important in dogs uh, because they can get dental diseases just like we can. No, I'm, I'm asking these questions in my head, but when we talk about dental care, mm -hmm. for us even as humans, we do checkups every six months and cleaning every six months mm -hmm. rather. We brush our teeth daily. What sorts of regular daily habits should we inculcate for the care of our dogs? So they have different things nowadays for dogs, like a wide range of dental care products. Mm -hmm. So as you mentioned, dental chews. So right. daily dental chews, that is something that you can do. And again, it depends on the type of dogs. Right. There are water additives that help remove plaque and tartar from the teeth, mm. right? But if your dog is the type of dog to just overturn the water bowl, right. you know, you're just going to be wasting <laughs> stuff <Precisely>. like that. <laughs> um, if you have the patience to brush their teeth, you can also do that. Right. But if you plan on doing so, you need to kind of train them from puppies. So kind of uh, have them get a feel of a finger in their mouth when they're puppies so that they'll get a feel of the toothbrush. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, just, I'm distracted I'm because distracted. they're adorable and yeah. they're yawning and so this little <laughs> lady is chilling. The other one is trying to smell my jacket and occasionally chewing on it. Maybe he's teething too. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, they, she. They both, they both would be. Okay, nice. So we're looking at sensitizing them to doggy toothpaste mm -hmm. and the toothbrush so. and then the perhaps daily chews. Yes? Yeah. Well, okay. you can use all three. You can use whichever one. Like I said, it depends on your uh, dog. Mm -hmm. And of course, um, you would want to schedule regular visits with your veterinarian so that they can assess the status of the, the teeth. You know, if it has a lot of plaque and tartar buildup, if it needs a cleaning, because they do get dental cleanings as well. Right. What we call dental <laughs> prophylaxis. So funny. <laughs> One funny thing I've seen as we're talking about the dental care of dogs mm -hmm. is braces. I've seen it on the internet though, so pinch of salt, I didn't know how authentic it was, but is that a real thing? Do dogs get braces? 
Actually, I, I personally haven't seen any. Thank God, then it was a meme. All right, let's go with it. <laughs> Now, like, these two types like of dogs, because you maintain that depending on the types of dogs, mm -hmm. the care might be a little different. What types okay. of dogs are we looking at this morning? So these are just mixed breed, um, pompe type. Oh. I'm not going to yeah. say Trinidad. Well, they, <laughs> Caribbean they, Shepherds. Yeah, they are Caribbean Shepherds, but they're more on like, the pompe side. So okay, so they might be a smaller really, breed. really, really short and ah. stocky yeah, and Yeah, you can see with the little legs. And as you mentioned that too, um, Smaller breed dogs mm -hmm. actually have what I would normally would see a higher incidence of plaque buildup in their teeth. Really? So they may need more regular, um, well, regular cleanings and, and dentals as compared to large breed dogs. Do you think that has anything to do with what we would allow them to play with, for example? Because I could think of my larger dogs letting them have just generally bigger roof toys and all of those sorts of things right. that might help. Yeah, and the they may buy ones. harder stuff yeah, as well too. that makes a lot more yeah. sense. Although I have some crazy dogs who are also true stones. Is that good or bad? <laughs> it's bad, but it's normal <laughs> for some dogs. My really? dog does it as well. See, so they floss it on their own. <laughs> Let's go with it. I'm being licked Flossing. and chewed simultaneously. The one on the right is biting my fingernails, so he is <laughs> definitely teething, she. The other is probably licking the remnants of my tea. Now, when you last brought a pet on set, it was Sushi, and she was up for adoption. Mm -hmm. Are any of these pets available? <laughs> I just kept that bite. <laughs> are any of these guys available? And these are females, yes. yes? Yes, both are females. They are probably exactly six weeks today. Okay. And, um, yeah, the brown one is actually up for adoption. So we're going to get a close up on Brownie. Brownie is saying, if you are looking for a pet, I am up for adoption. I am small, I am cute, I bite, but I also need to be helped through the teething process. <laughs> oh, ooh, my producer is already in my ear saying, oh, daddy's here, so we might have a taker. But for <laughs> now, as far as the cleaning and the process goes, once we get past the day to day that we need to do, and of course the occasional checks, mm -hmm. if we don't do those, what are some of the things we will actually see, or signs rather, we would see so, with the pups? Uh, often, once there's a lot of plaque and tartar buildup, you would obviously start to get a lot of bad breath, and right. doggy bad breath is horrible. You right. can smell Regular it from, like, dog breath is bad. So, like, I feel <laughs> you like can smell it from like, across the room. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> seriously. Um, also, once they start to get that uh, plaque and tartar build up, you know, you can have like gingivitis, so inflammation of the gums, mm. and that could actually lead to further infection. So you mm. can get like tooth root abscesses, um, other periodontal disease. You might have to do some tooth extractions, especially when they get older and that Yikes. kind of thing. And well, having a lot of plaque and tartar build up could also lead to like organ diseases. Right. Some of the bacteria can travel to the heart, the mm -hmm. liver, the kidneys. So it goes just way beyond the mouth. It's more serious than that. So that's why it's so important and it's something that we shouldn't overlook. Absolutely. And in that case, thank you very much for shedding some lunar light on <laughs> dental care for the doggies. Guys, we got two cute, cuddly ones on set with us this morning. And that's how we're going to wrap up today's segment as we get ready to, well, head to Freetown when we come back from this commercial break. For now, stick around, guys. Look at these little yawns. This is perfect with it. Are you running?